Hi all, I am Gaurav. Welcome to Introduction to Scala. I am starting this series with an intent of sharing my Scala knowledge. Today we are going to have a look at if else and loops in Scala. So let's get started. Um, now we have enough knowledge to move on to an editor. So we are going to quit um, uh, our development in Ripple. Uh, choose an editor you are most comfortable with. You can also use um, IDEs such as IntelliJ or Eclipse. I'm going to use Sublime Editor. This is a popular editor in, uh, this is a popular editor for Scala. So let me create a file argument sprinter.scala. If else loops in Scala are pretty much the same as any other language, Scala will evaluate the Boolean expression to display the result. Um, Scala is similar to Java where we need to um, create a main method with array of string as incoming arguments. In this class, we are going to check if we can print, print the uh, incoming um, argument variables. If the argument list is empty, uh, ask user for the argument, else inform user that um, arguments can be printed. So. Uh, the same I'm going to code here. So let me put up the else block as well. So let's get back to the uh, console. Similar to Java, you can compile Scala classes by Scala C command followed by class name. The file has compiled successfully. Uh, to run compiled uh, dot class files, you can use Scala command followed by class name. So like uh, and we get an error message to provide the arguments. Let us run it again, but this time with arguments and we get the information that arguments can be printed. Now, uh, next we will try to print the arguments that are passed from the command line. Um, we can print these arguments using while loop. Again, while loop is similar. Uh, we will declare a variable length and initialize it by zero. We are going to loop until the length of the uh, arguments, incoming arguments, and uh, we will uh, try to print these arguments one by one. and increase the length when we have printed the argument. Let me compile the program once again. Let's execute our Scala class with the same input and we can see the output. Let's open the file again. Well, it all works fine, but it looks imperative. We are using var rather than val. Scala always prefer val over var. So let's make it Scala style. We are going to use for loop instead of while. Again, for loop syntax is not very different from the syntax of any other language. Um, I have declared a variable length to hold the current index. Uh, then I'm going to loop from uh, 0 to input length minus 1, both inclusive. And um, then I'm going to print the, uh, uh, print the arguments one by one. Let's save the file and go back to console. Um, 
let's compile the uh, uh, file once again oops something has gone wrong oh the the length is spared is not spared right um, let's compile our scala program once again and it is compiled successfully. Let us run our new implementation once again uh, with the same input Scala is good. Yep. Scala has one more handy keyword until. Uh, until keyword is similar to uh, to keyword but it excludes the upper limit. Uh, so we can use until keyword and get rid of minus one. Um, let us compile the, uh, let us make the changes and then compile the program once again and uh, run it with the same uh, input. Scala is good. And we get the same output. One thing that we have learned initially is that Scala is concise. Um, till now, it was us who are looping through argument list, but we can ask Scala to loop through the arguments for us. We have to inform Scala that we are going to call what we are going to call each element. In this case, I am going to call each element as arg arg and the collection which we are going to loop that is args and Scala will take care of the rest. Uh, let's compile the program once again. Let's run it again with the same set of input, which is um, Scala is good. And we have the same output. Thanks for watching. Please post your comments and suggestions.